5 p.m. It's Wednesday. Sorry, I missed my video last week. I don't have a good excuse. I just forgot. Oops. This week, though, we're talking about 90s Nickelodeon, which I'm very, very excited about because that's all I watched. Um, the advertisement for Nickelodeon Magazine, please, was like, one of those things that just stuck in your brain. Everyone wanted Nickelodeon magazine, please. All you had to do was get your parents to call and it was like the coolest thing ever and I never got it, but um, I would have loved Nickelodeon magazine. So, um, other great shows, Doug, Rugrats, all that, Legends of the Hidden Temple, um, the games and sports, what was the one where they had to climb the mountain at the end? I can't remember what it was called. Um, so many good ones. Cat Dog, Anger Beavers, um, and All Real Monsters, um, The Amanda Show. So good. 90s Nickelodeon was the best. And there's just no, like, comparing it. And I can't tell if that's because we watched it when we were young and it was this thing that, like, was ours, and now everything that comes after that is bad, or not as good, or if it was actually really good, and I like to think it was really good. Rocco's Modern Life also was a great show. So good. <laughs> um, it was just, it was just a whole different time, and getting slimed, and, um, Lori Beth, <laughs> like, whatever happened to Lori Beth? She was so great. And, um, we all know what happened to Amanda Bynes, poor thing. I feel so bad for her. Um, but I'll never forget, um, uh, the Dear Ashley one she did. <laughs> Whereas, uh, and this was on all that. This wasn't the Amanda show. And she would take fan mail and she's like, Dear Ashley, that's me. <laughs> I just thought, I thought that was the greatest thing. Just the absolute greatest thing. So, um, it was such a big part of my childhood and I, um, I love Nickelodeon for that forever. So thank you, Nickelodeon. Woo! Um, my nerdy pleasure this week was, um, I got to see Horns, finally, because I've been wanting to see that, because I read the books, it, book and it was really good. The movie did not hold up. Daniel Radcliffe did great, and I liked his American accent and everything, but, oh, it was just, it missed so much of the whole point of the book. All the symbolism, everything was just gone, and ripped apart into, like, a shitty... 90 minute movie. <laughs> I didn't like it. It made me sad. I was looking forward to it for so long. It just got pushed back and pushed back. Um, so that sucked. But it was still nerdy pleasure because I was looking forward to it so much. And anytime a book gets made into a movie, I get excited. Um, other nerdy pleasure, really quick, is I finished reading The Fifth Wave and I really liked it by Rick Yancey. I'm actually going to do a review on my other channel, Reread Books, um, that should be up soon, hopefully, and, um, if you guys are interested in hearing about it, you should check that out, because it was awesome. And, um, uh, my question for you guys is, what was your favorite sketch on all that, if you watched all that? I liked Ashley, and I liked, um, the, <laughs> uh, Keenan Thompson's The French Student in the Bathtub. I don't remember what it was called, but <laughs> it was hilarious. Good times. Um, so that's it. And thanks for watching. Bye.